Welcome back to Character Conversions, where I try to bring fictional characters to life in D&D. Today we will be building the Lycan Vampire Hybrid of Underworld and long descendant of Alexander Corvinus, Michael Corvin. Four stats will be using the standard array of the player's handbook, divided up as you see here. Our hybrid nature grants us incredible physical strength and durability, but our lack of combat experience means we don't regularly dodge attacks, hence our lower dexterity. And with medical training, we put our wisdom next so that we have a small boost to the medicine skill. For race, we will be starting out with Damthir. Now this isn't entirely accurate as this means we end up with our vampire abilities before we get our lycan abilities, but sacrifices need to be made sadly. If you start out at level 3 though, all will be well. We increase our strength by plus 2 and our constitution by plus 1, raising both to a 16. Our base speed is 35 feet, we gain dark vision up to 60 feet, Ancestral Legacy grants us proficiency with two skills of our choice, let's grab Perception for our enhanced senses and history for the memories we gain from being bitten. As an additional language, we will take Undercommon. Our deathless nature makes it so we don't need to breathe, and we have a natural spider climb ability giving us a climbing speed equal to our walking speed, and at third level we'll be able to do so with, while leaving our hands free. Finally, we have a Vampiric Bite. It deals 1d4 piercing damage, and we can add our constitution modifier to attack and damage rolls. We have advantage on this bite attack if we are missing half or more of our hit points, and when we bite a creature that isn't a construct or an undead, we may also empower the bite in one of two ways. We can either regain HP equal to the damage dealt by the bite, or gain a bonus on our next ability check or attack roll equal to the damage of the bite. We're able to do this a number of times per long rest equal to our proficiency modifier. Sadly, there is not a medic or doctor background, so we'll be going with Hermit. As was stated in the first Underworld, as an intern he works around the clock and doesn't have much of a life. This gives us proficiency with the medicine and religion skills, proficiency with the herbalism kit, one additional language of our choice, pick whatever suits your campaign, and for our feature we gain discovery. You have to work with your GM to determine what this unique and powerful discovery is though. For class we'll be going with Barbarian. We lack traditional combat training and when we fight it's based on instinct. We have a d12 hit die, proficiency with strength and constitution saves. For skills, we will pick up athletics and intimidation. As a first level barbarian, we gain the rage class feature, allowing us to two times per long rest release our primal ferocity for one minute. This gives us advantage on strength checks and saves, and a plus two bonus to damage, and resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Finally, unarmed defense makes our AC equal to 10 plus our dex mod plus our constitution mod. Perfect, since most of the time we are fighting shirtless. Second level gives us Reckless Attack, allowing us to make all attacks with advantage, but attacks against us will have advantage until our next turn. We also gain Danger Sense, making it so we have advantage on dexterity saving throws against effects that we can see, such as traps and spells. At third level, we choose our Primal Path, and we'll be going with the Path of the Beast. This gives us the Form of the Beast ability. Now when we rage, we transform and gain either a Bite, Claw, or Tail Attack. We can choose this each time we rage, and each one of it has its own benefits. We'll primarily be using claws during this, giving us a d6 slashing attack, and when we use the attack action to attack with the claw, we get an additional claw attack as part of the same action. In addition, we can also rage three times a day now. With this, we are now able to enter our hybrid form. At fourth level, we gain an ability score improvement. We'll trade this for the healer feat. This is to represent our medical training and knowledge. At 5th level we gain extra attack, allowing us to make an additional attack when we take the attack action, meaning when raging and using our claws we can make 3 attacks around. We also gain fast movement, increasing our speed by 10 feet while not wearing heavy armor. 6th level Path of the Beast grants us Bestial Soul. Now our natural weapons from Form of the Beast count as magical for overcoming resistance and immunity. In addition, we can alter our form to adapt to our surroundings. When we finish a short or long rest, we can choose to either gain a swimming speed equal to our walking speed and the ability to breathe underwater, gain a climbing speed equal to our walking speed, or the ability to extend our jump distance by making an athletics check and increasing the distance by the check's total. Finally, we're able to rage four times a day now. Seventh level sees us gaining Feral Instinct. We now have advantage on initiative rolls, and in addition, if we are surprised at the beginning of combat and aren't incapacitated, we can act normally on our first turn, but only if we enter our rage before doing anything else. Eighth level is another ability score improvement. We'll put this into our constitution, raising it to an 18. At ninth level, we gain Brutal Critical, giving us an additional damage die when we score a critical hit. In addition, our bonus damage from rage increases to plus 3. At 10th level, Path of the Beast grants us Infectious Fury. Now while raging, when we strike a creature with our natural weapons, we can make the target make a wisdom saving throw with a dice check equal to 8 plus our constitution modifier plus our proficiency bonus, or either be forced to use their reaction to make a melee attack against another creature of our choice or take 2d12 psychic damage. We can use this feature a number of times equal to our proficiency bonus per long rest. 
At 11th level, we gain Relentless Rage. Now if we drop to 0 hit points while raging and don't die outright, we can make a DC 10 con save and drop to 1 hit point instead. Each time we use this feature after the first, the dice check increases by 5. With our high constitution and a d12 hit die, we should be pretty hard to put down in a fight. 12th level is our next ability score improvement. We'll put this into our constitution as well, capping it off at 20. In addition, we are now able to rage 5 times a day. Our 13th level is a brief one. Brutal Critical improves, now adding 2 additional dive damage when we score a critical hit. 14th level, Path of the Beast gives us the Call of the Hunt. A number of times per long rest when we enter a rage, we can choose a number of other willing creatures we can see within 30 feet of us equal to our constitution modifier. We gain 5 temporary hit points for each creature that accepts this feature. Until the rage ends, when the chosen creature hits a target with an attack, once per turn they can roll a d6 and add it to their damage. 15th level, we gain Persistent Rage. Now our rage is so fierce that it ends early only if we fall unconscious or if we choose to end it. We can maintain our hybrid form as long as we need to now. 16th level is an additional ability score improvement. We will increase our strength to 18. In addition, our bonus to damage while raging increases to plus 4. At 17th level, our brutal critical increases for the final time, now adding 3 additional dive damage when we score a critical hit. Finally, we can now rage a total of 6 times a day. 18th level is another brief one. We gain Indomitable Might. Now if our total for a strength check is less than our strength score, we can now use our score in place of that total, meaning our minimum for any strength related skill check is now 18. At 19th level we gain our final ability score improvement. We will be increasing our strength for the final time, capping it off at 20. 20th level sees us gaining Primal Champion. Our strength and constitution scores are increased by 4 each and the maximum for these scores becomes 24. This makes both 24. Finally, we can now rage an unlimited amount of times each day. End result sees us with an average of 275 hit points and an AC of 18. When we rage we will half most damage on us, and our claws will deal an average of 12 damage a hit, 36 damage with 3 attacks. We do not really carry a weapon with us and primarily rely on our hybrid form to fight. Similar to how when we were killed in Underworld Evolution, it was before we were able to transform. You'll need to work with your GM to determine the consequences of being a vampire-like and hybrid in the world, as it should provide for some very interesting roleplay opportunities. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment your opinions or suggestions for new builds. I hope all your 20s are natural. See you next time.